And it's a mess in Berea as well this morning where Marielle Lou continues our weather coverage. And uh, Marielle, you're at Baldwin Wallace College, which uh, looks like suffered a lot of damage. The, the uh, campus looking bad this morning. Yeah, Kimberly, you know, if a picture is worth a thousand words, I think this right here says it all. I can walk underneath this tree, and I know those watching at home have a ton of short jokes lined up. Yes, I'm short, so, you know, but, but that does not take away from the scope of the damage of what happened here today. In fact, anyone just a little bit taller than me could have been hit by this massive tree that toppled over and landed on the third floor here of the library here at Baldwin Wallace College. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other damage in the area. See, there's a pine tree. Tree that snapped completely in half here from one of the large branches. The, the campus is littered with branches and debris from the high winds that whipped through Northeast Ohio last night. Now, a large branch from uh, the pine tree, as I said, snapped. It came to rest on the campus sidewalk. Thankfully, no one was walking there at the time. There are down branches and remnants from the storm all over campus. But the worst damage, again, here where we are live this morning at the campus library, where a giant part of this tree that I'm Standing underneath came down and hit the third floor of the Baldwin Wallace Library. The damage, though, is not limited here to this college campus. Uh, check out the video on I 71 southbound last night. Lanes there closed after a giant tree blocked a large portion of the roadway there. Cars were forced to squeeze into one lane as crews worked on that. Back out here live again, you see just the scope of the damage here. This tree pulled up part of the sidewalk as it came over onto the branch. We've seen students walking by, taking pictures. People really just cannot believe how powerful these winds were that whipped through this area yesterday. In fact, one of the gentlemen who delivers a local paper in this area came over to me this morning and just talked to me about some of the damage all over Berea and Middleburg Heights. He said there were several street lights out when he started his paper route very early this morning, and that even more trees are down in several neighborhoods in this area. So there is a lot of cleanup ahead for those here in Berea and Middleburg Heights. Reporting live, Marielle Lude, News Channel 5.